Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Quinn, if you're new here. So I decided um, I'm going to start vlogging every other day of the week just to help push me to make more videos and content. Um, I'm not sure how long it will last or whatever, but that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I'm going to start recording more. Um, and yeah, for these past two days, I have been feeling like shit because I have been having allergies. Um, like really bad spring allergies. My eyes are so poofy and I sneeze like so many times and my nose is running. So anyways, yeah, also I'm trying to go to the gym more often. So um, like three times a week. So hopefully recording this every other day will help push me to go to the gym on those days. Um, also a personal decision is I have decided that I'm going to start looking for a job, going back to work. Um, I haven't told you guys this, but uh, I, yeah, so I haven't told you guys this, but basically I quit my like corporate job kind of thing. Um, so basically I haven't told you guys this, but I quit my corporate job few months ago and I, with no intentions of going back because I just hated my last job so so much but um, after talking to my friends I decided the best move for me is to go back to corporate again and work and so I can make money and survive so I'm going to start looking for companies that I see myself working in and positions that I might enjoy so that being said that's why I decided to do this like almost daily vlog thing because I know that I'm eventually gonna go back to work and I just want to vlog my journey until then I'm gonna try to start vlogging and I hope you enjoy it and come along with me it's gonna be so casual because this is just what I'm going to be doing every day. It might be boring, it might be fun, I don't know. So right now we're gonna go to the Salvation Army because I want, sorry. So right now we're gonna go to the Salvation Army because I'm going to drop off some shoes that I want to donate. It's so nice outside today because it's about like 61 degrees and that's like really really warm um so it's gonna be a good day i'm donating these three bags of shoes The guy's picking up the donation box and I think they're gonna ship it out, so I just gave it to him. We are supposed to change our oil August 14, 2018, and it is now uh, April 2019. So now I'm just gonna call the car repair service guy. Oh my God, it's so hot. I don't know why I'm wearing this sweater. Um, I was driving my car a couple days ago and when I was trying to brake, it was doing this d -d 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 sound um, and it showed this little genie bottle thing um, with a one drop of oil in red. So that looks kind of serious. I thought, okay, what the hell is this? I should bring in my car to get it checked up. My maintenance button been on for like months and like I don't really care about it no one in my family cares when the car was starting to make that jerking noise with the little genie bottle and the oil um drop i thought it's time that we get our car some new oil or whatever it needs so that's what i'm gonna do right now but i have to call this guy first see if he's available hey, Colorado, how can I help you? hi i'm calling back um 
You want it 3 30, right? Yeah, 3 30, or I can come in right now if you're available now. I right, see. I, I'm not quite sure right now. I can, I can give you a call if, if, I, if I do feel like, you know, if I will be free. All right, okay. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Bye. Okay, so I guess no car maintenance today. Okay, I'm gonna go to Walgreens to get some allergy pills. Uh, because my allergies have been so bad like I feel like I'm sick but I'm not sick I know it's allergies I have runny nose my eyes are so itchy and I sneeze so much and I'm so drowsy like every day and I can't do anything because you know that feeling when you just are really tired and sleepy and you just want to like close your eyes and go to bed but you're not sleepy or tired i ran out of allergy pills and i've been like saving the last one for like when i really need it and it just doesn't work that way so the allergy pills that works for me is allegra it's non-drowsy there's like a lot of other brands but allegra works best for me i just want to share something with you guys really quick so this allegra is a brand name and Walflex is a generic brand from Walgreens and it's way cheaper. So for 45 pills, you can get it for $21 with a Walgreens card. But over here, if you buy the Walgreens brand, it's $24, $25 for 70 pills instead of 45. And look, the ingredients are the same. This is the branded one. 180 milligram of flexofenamidine or whatever and same here see 180 gram of flexofenadine i want to share something with you guys because i don't only use allergy pills for allergies um i'm actually allergic to um alcohol like hard liquor beer i'm not sure exactly what it is in liquor that i'm allergic to but i'm allergic to liquor and i not only get red like how Every Asian, a lot of Asian people turn red and flush when they drink alcohol. I get that. And I also um, break out in like hives, so my body can't handle the alcohol. And I get like these patches of hives, and they're so freaking itchy and they would last for like three days straight if I take shots. Basically, I'm like allergic, allergic to alcohol, and I can't handle the itchiness because it's so intense and so bad that's why i don't really drink but also i don't like drinking anyways but when people have parties and my friends are drinking i want to be able to drink and like be social with them too so i um went and talked to a doctor and he recommend that i try taking an allergy pill before drinking so i tried allegra branded version of this one and that really helped me i take the pill one to two hours before drinking and i can take shots and i can like drink whatever i want and i one won't turn red two i will not break out in hives so um there you go if you guys if any one of you 119 subscribers have alcohol allergies then you are very 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 welcome um my one of my friend's boyfriend he also he turns red when he drinks and he takes this pill um and he's not like but it doesn't help him not turn red like he'll still kind of turn red but kind of pink so i don't know but like when i take the pill i don't turn red try it try a couple pills here and there and see if it helps you i haven't really tried it with a generic brand yet it should be the same if i do drink anytime soon i'll let you know if this works i mean it should work because the active ingredient are the same so okay you're welcome so now i'm about to go pick up my sister and we're gonna go to trader joe's to pick up some food we have been obsessed or i have well actually yeah we all have the whole family have been obsessed with eating this indian um food from trader joe's steven recommended it to us we have been like obsessed with it ever since so we need to go back and refill you're coming with me going to trader joe's Trader Joe's always have so many pretty flowers. You guys, if you don't know, now you know. Uh. I tried this one, chicken tikka mashla, but this one, the butter chicken with bas. Mati rice is so much better. 
and it is only $3.99. We're stacking up. I thought Trader Joe's used to have the other mochi that I would get at H Mart, but it doesn't look like they have it anymore. So I might try Zero Trans Fat Vegan made with freshly coconut. What the? Made with freshly what squeezed coconut cocoa? milk, dairy, and soy free, gluten free. I think I this is I a new like, mochi. I didn't like the mango one. Oh, you didn't? Uh, but this is Trader Joe's brand. Should we try this one? Zero Trans Fat. Strawberry vegan. vegan. I'm gonna buy this and try it out and see if it tastes good. There's no dairy or soy. They're substituting with coconut milk. I highly doubt this is gonna be good, but I will give it a try. These are the butter almond thin, so I will give this one a try. I haven't tried this before. It's a two dollars and seventy nine cents. So my sister told me that the cookie butter is really good and is pretty popular at Trader Joe's. 369. We're gonna try the crunchy one because we like our peanut butter to have a little crunch. So we're gonna try this one. We are stacked up. So I just got home. I stocked everything inside the fridge and now I'm eating some pineapple with salt and pepper. If you guys haven't tried eating pineapple with salt and pepper, you're really missing out. It's really good. The butter almond thins. Oh, they're pretty good. I said I'll let you guys know if they're good or not, and they are. Mm. I don't know if I'll get them again, but I'll definitely finish this. And then my sister. She baited me to buy this crunchy cookie butter spread. I thought it was gonna taste like peanut butter, but it's not. It's um, it tastes like gingerbread. What what does it taste like then? It tastes like a gingerbread cookie butter biscuit. Bread. It's very sweet. It's not like peanut butter at all. Um, I can't eat it with. I wanted to eat it with banana or my overnight oats, I'm trying to be healthier. Um, but this is not peanut butter, and it's too sweet, so I can't eat it with those. So I might need to go get some peanut butter. And the car guy never called me back, and it's already like five o'clock. So I um, probably have to do my car maintenance tomorrow. And. Um, so then we can get ready and then head to the gym. So my sister bought these nasty ass clam noodles pasta from Trader Joe's. They were so bad that she doesn't want to finish them. So I'm about to head to the gym. I'm not really hungry, but I think I should eat something. So I'm just gonna try to eat some of her leftovers. Dad thinks it's okay to mop the house with no solution. He's legit mopping with water. So freaking nasty. Anyways, back to eating. The clams are not bad. It's just, I would never buy this. Hey guys, so I'm just reading up on some Lululemon news and their brand, like the company, they're planning to do a lot of really cool things in the near future. Uh, one of the things is they're opening up a pop-up store in Chicago, Lincoln Park. In July, it's gonna be a Lululemon retail store with a meditation studio, food and juice bar. It's gonna be more like experimental and they're planning to do this in more locations and expanding it to China and all of that stuff. So I just think it's so cool and I'm like reading some, reading up some stuff on them because their stock literally just went up so high starting around like March 28th. So I was curious why they went from like 144 to about 100 and 
160, now 177. Uh, yeah, whatever. Boring stuff. I'm just deciding if I should buy it or not or whatever. And that got me looking into um, the company even more. Like I already looked into this last night before I went to bed. Uh, I just want to say like I love, love, love the Lululemon um, Align leggings. They are so good and I love them so much. So I'm thinking of investing in their company. That's it. That's my little... I mean, I'm vlogging my everyday, so I guess I should share everything I'm doing with you. Alrighty, now time to go to the gym. Alright guys, so I'm about to head to the gym. And I'm not sure if I'm able to record there. Um, I would try to. I just don't know if I can and if there's too many people there, it's gonna be a little awkward. But if I don't get to, then I just wanna let you know I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to work on my butt and maybe a little bit of abs. I don't have a routine where I'm like, okay, today's leg day, tomorrow is abs day, the next day is cardio and so and so and so forth because I don't go to the gym, I go in random times. And when I do go, I always do a butt workout and then cardio. That's like what I do. Or, or if I don't do um, weights, all I do is I go on the treadmill, incline it um, to like 7. And then I walk on like 3.0, 3.5 speed for like 30 something minutes. Or I go on the Stairmaster and do that for like 25 minutes. Yeah, okay, well today I'm trying to plan and let you guys know because i don't know if i can take you with me so i'm going to go there and do some glutes workout and then i'm gonna do cardio for probably 20 25 minutes so my goal for at least until july i want to build a habit of eating healthier making healthier choices and going to the gym at least like three times a week more if possible doubt it so I'm actually at the gym now and you're probably wondering why I'm wearing makeup to the gym. I actually never wear makeup to the gym um, and that's specifically the reason why I go to this gym. This is, this is where I go. So I go to Planet Fitness. Honestly, I really don't like this gym. It's like really, really shitty. Like they don't have a lot of good machines and their machines are just a little bit weird and the gym is kind of dark. It's just not that motivating to work out here. But the reason that I go to this gym instead of export, which is like closer to my house, is because I like don't want to wear makeup to the gym. I don't like to see people. I want to go to a gym with as little people as possible. I just want to go in there, do my cardio. I usually just do cardio. Go do my cardio and get the F out. Like that's it. I have no reason to be chilling around in the gym and I do not want why is that car so close to me? Um, okay. Um, and I don't want to have to wait on any machines or anything because Export, the one by my house, is so packed. Uh, I really like going to Export because just the atmosphere is better. Everyone there is working really hard. I'm not not like people here are not working hard. It's just a different vibes, a different environment. But I'm putting on makeup because obviously. I'm not comfortable with you guys yet. I'm not gonna show you like my skin. Like I have like acne and I have like pigmentation that I'm working towards to like fix. And if I find a solution to help cure and tone down my acne and um, pigmentation situation, then I will let you guys know. But for now, no. For now, we are putting makeup to the gym. Oh, but also some really cool things here at this um, Planet Fitness, specifically the one by my house, is by the way, if you're watching this, don't go to this gym, okay? Please. Okay, anyways. Some really cool things at this gym is their red therapy room. Um, there's it's, it's like a stand up, it looks kind of like a little stand up spray tan tube and you go in there and for about like a few minutes and there's this red led light therapy thing that shoots on your body it helps simulate collagen and um it's just really 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 good for you i don't want to go on a rant about it it's just really good and they have it at this gym so that's really cool and i like to do it sometimes after i finish working out as like a treat so i just finished my workout I'm so tired today. Oh my god. Um, 
sorry I couldn't film anything or as much I tried to film I couldn't really film because there were so many people here today so I couldn't film these are just the, fo the footage that you see here is what I got that's about it um, I basically did a whole bunch of like squats with 10 pound weights and bridges with 10 pounds um, lunges and then I did cardio for 27 minutes or whatever uh, it wasn't I was so tired today um, didn't do much cardio but thank god I fit it in anyway <laughs> I'm so tired um, on the treadmill I was thinking like hey I kind of want to do a self tanning session like I want to try some self tanners I have a really good self tanners that one of my friends showed me it's the Kate Somerville toilet 360 um, it's like a tanning towel it's white and you just like rub it all over your body and it gradually increase the tan over time I just do it before I sleep when I wake up and I'm like tanner that's like the best self tanner that you can use well I've tried I don't really use self tanners and that's the only self tanner that I've used and it's so so good the whole bunch of self tanner I just want to try a self tanner I'm really pale as you can see so pale so I do laser hair remover all over my body and my next session is in like probably a couple weeks I can't be tan for my laser hair treatment so I have if I want to try any self tanner I have to do it now I'm gonna go to Ulta or Walmart and pick up a random self tanner and test it out so they actually didn't have the spray tan from Jergens I wanted to try so I got this one instead this one is um, a moisturizer it's like a lotion it doesn't have color it's clear and you basically put it on after you finish showering and then it just gradually give you a tan uh, I'm gonna go home and try it out and I will let you know if I get tan or not better because it was like nine dollars something I mean that's pretty cheap for self tanner but it better work got this one because it's not gonna stain my sheets so hopefully it works and I don't want to be like super dark or anything I just want a little glow so it's only right after buying so many buttered chicken at Trader Joe's is for me to open up one eat it and tell you my thoughts on it so this is the buttered chicken and this is what it looks like the reason why I like this one over the other chicken that I showed you at the store is because um, the other chicken, the rice, gets really soggy. I don't know, I just prefer this one. I think it tastes so much better. And here are the calories, 270, which is pretty freaking good. I mean, honestly, I don't even check calories or read calories like that. But um, if you care, that's the calories. I'm trying to eat healthier, so obviously I, I'm trying to pay more attention to the calories. Mm -hmm. And then microwave it for about eight minutes. So I just made my dad some of that Indian food. And he like just went downstairs, so I'm gonna go after him and see if he thinks it's good or not. It smells like Indian food, but it's not like super strong or anything. If you like Indian food, this is a good alternative. Easy, you don't have to make it. I wanna describe the flavor. It's tomatoey and buttery, it tastes like curry. Yeah, it's so good. My camera is dying. So I'm gonna close out my video right here. I'm gonna go shower and I'm gonna try on this Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer in medium to tan. It's a no rise, so basically I finish showering, I put the moisturizer on and then I just pat it dry and then the tan is supposed to develop. I'm gonna show you what my skin looks like right now and then I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow and then the day after. But anyway, so give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of vlogging style video and then comment down below and let me know if there's any other Trader Joe's food that you would like for me to try. I wanna find out more Trader Joe's food. I shop there all the time, but I think there's some food that I might not know about. All right, well, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and I will see you in two days, bye.